CNBC TV 18 Weekender. Hello and welcome to CNBC TV 18 Weekender. I'm Shruti Mishra. My guest today started her career with modeling when she was only 15. She turned to Bollywood and rose to fame with her debut film, Rabne Banadi Jodi. She also turned entrepreneur with her production house, Clean Slate Films, and is the only Indian actress with two films under her belt in the 300 crore rupee club. Well, you guessed it right. I'm talking about Anushka Sharma, who's also launched her own clothing line. I'm at Yashrat Studio in Mumbai. Let's go inside and meet her and find out what's on offer. Thank you, Anushka, for joining us on Weekend. First of all, many congratulations on launching your clothing line, Noosh. Uh, you know, while many celebrities uh, have kind of entered a similar business opportunity with their own clothing lines, what is your USP? Firstly, uh, thank you uh, for having me. I have not tried to uh, actively go out there and figure out what other people are doing and set myself aside from that. Um, and I'll tell you the reason for it. I, I believe when you have a certain so, so, something that you're sure of and you believe in, uh, yeah. then you just take and make all efforts you possibly can to enable that belief to come alive. The way I am as a person, I have to be completely consumed with what I do and have to be completely involved with what I do. Yeah. Um, and I think it's a great thing actually, the more the merrier, the, the more the better, um, yeah. more options for people. Um, it's nice when, uh, uh, when you are passionately involved with something. Uh, then you ensure that you uh, add that kind of value for the people, you know, for the stakeholders, the people you're getting into business with. Uh, I do think that the business model that we have set up is um, one of its kind and not a common one as, yeah. uh, as you've put. For me, this was something that I've been trying to do for the past five years. The okay. idea came five years ago that All can right. I do something like this. Yeah. Uh, so it took me a while uh, to set up the, 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 the model that we did and to hmm. set, up, set it up with the right people. So what's Anushka's style mantra? Um, I think my style mantra is exactly what you see, uh, what you will see with Nush. I believe that clothes are very important because clothes enable you to uh, express yourself, express your personality, express your sense of style, add uh, individuality, um, you know, it, it gives you a, a sense of confidence also, mm -hmm. you know. But at the same time, I think that it should not be a thing of pressure. It should not be yeah. something that should be difficult. It should not be something that you feel like, Are, how do I style myself? How do I look good? So I wanted to create a clothing line that was very easy to style, easy to self-style for women of all age groups, uh, of all of, of, of and all sizes, on, on, on of all sizes and uh, of all kinds of you know, styles. Like everyone has a personal style, but you should be able to style yourself very easily. So you create clothes that are, you know, self-stylable. You know, you've launched this clothing line in partnership with Suditi Industries. Uh, why choose Suditi? Uh, Suditi because I think they were people and they were players who have a very good experience um, in um, and also very uh, very good distribution experience, very yeah. good manufacturing experience. They, 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 also, they have also manufactured a lot of global brands all, all around the world. So their systems are very much in place. Uh, and most importantly, what I was trying to create with Nush, they understood that. You know, they understood where I was coming from. Um, they were uh, the right partners in that sense. Uh, and also, um, like I said, you know, you have you find that comfort with somebody, and I found that comfort with with them. Certain limitation that I would see in other high street brands because high street is is it's quick fashion, you know. Yeah. So so sometimes these things can be overlooked. So for me, that was very very important that the that the um, apart from the aesthetics, that the quality control is in check. And I think that these were, these were people who were uh, who had the same values uh, as me. So take us through the product line. What all is on offer, and what are the price points? The reason that we have so many styles, we have upward 160 styles. Uh, okay. That's a lot of styles, especially yeah. if you're launching in autumn winter, uh, which you kind of confined because of the weather. Um, so the styles kind of you know get reduced. But uh, the reason we have so many designs is because we want to make, like I said, op firstly options uh, as many options as, as as possible, and because it has to cater to all women with all kinds of uh, choices. Uh, and uh, also to be able to, like I said, st self style, you needed to create that many mm -hmm. more designs. True. So um, it's from six nine nine onwards, anywhere between about say three thousand three hundred, three thousand five hundred. That is accessible from comfort point of view, from pricing point of view, and from styling point of view also. Now let's talk about your first entrepreneurial venture, Clean Slate Films, uh, that you launched in two thousand fourteen along with your brother. Tell me, how did the entrepreneurial bug bit you? When I was a kid. 
uh, I was very into enterprising. So I actually tried to start, and I did start also okay. a beauty parlor oh. at the age of. 10 or 11 I think I was uh, and I just got all my friends together and I said we should start our own beauty parlor so whatever little bit of <laughs> creating our own products and all of yeah. that and with whatever we found in the house and making pamphlets and giving it out to people and wow. actually inviting them and few women actually came also and I used to live in an army cantonment okay I used to organize um, Christmas parties and Diwali parties okay. and as a kid, like I'm all like 10 years old, huh? Yeah. And uh, New Year parties and tell kids you can bring five chests from your house, you bring this food, you bring that and you're going to have this and just create sets, create like choreograph everything, like putting it all together. Um, and uh, I tried to start a library as a kid on wow. circulation. I said, you know, everyone give me like 10 books of yours. I'm going to properly like tag them and everything and make sure that, you know, we can, uh, it, it will be returned to you and started a circulation library also in my friend's garage. Um, okay. I always had that in, in me. Um, I'm somebody who, um, I, I go after things that inspire me. I go after, if I see an idea and if I see value somewhere, then I go after it. Uh, and I think that's how it's been, you know, that's why maybe starting a production house and making films at the age of 25. I was 25 and I started Clean Slate Films. Yes, at the age of 25, what gave you the confidence? What gave me the confidence at the age of 10? You know, usually actors turn to production at the fag end of their career. What gave you confidence to start at 25? I don't think I understand usual. Like I don't understand the what is usual. You know, I mean, uh, you know, uh, you do things that make sense to you, right? You, yeah, yeah. There are a lot of things that are usual. But if you, everyone starts just doing the usual, then how will we just, you know, um, okay. do something different? Yeah. I think for me. Uh, it made sense to do that uh, with the film that I started. It was important for me to step in as a producer to enable the film to actually happen in the first place, you know, and to make sure that the film is able to reach a wider audience. And for that, if you know, making and producing the film and coming on board as a as a, as a producer made more sense, you know, than to um, just do it as an actor. Um, and uh, and that started my journey. I wanted to just make different cinema. I, my brother and me are very passionate about films. You know, we are like-minded people, so it helps to have a partner like him. Uh, and uh, and I think a uh, lot of, yeah, you're right, a lot of people did tell me that it's too early on in your career and at this age, yeah. actresses don't produce films, they produce films at the end of their career. So I said, you know, that makes absolutely no sense to me because if right now I have value as, a, as an actor, people want to come and watch me in the, in, in the cinemas, yeah. then why should my, whatever I've achieved so far in life and whatever market value I have been able to achieve as an actor, why should I not have the first go at it or first claim at it, why should someone else benefit from it, right? So I said, I'm going to start producing my own films if I can, if I'm, if, especially films that you know, you're heading as, a, as the main protagonist. There's a lot of things that you shoulder. And, the film, yeah. and you, 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 you're taking so much of the burden of, of, of a film, then why should you not go all in? So either it's all in or nothing for me. That's the way I've been always. So Clean Slate Films is two years old. It's essentially a startup. How do you function? You know, are you lean, frugal? It is a startup. It's absolutely, and I've always said that it's a startup. And uh, we're learning as we go along and it's challenging. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, for me, personal growth is most important. Ultimately, I think we've all been put on this planet to make ourselves get better and make ourselves the be best version of what we are. So whether it's me choosing the right kind of films to become a better actor, to make myself the best version of the actor that I can possibly, possibly be, or to becoming a producer, becoming an entrepreneur, starting my own clothing brand. These are all things that challenge me. These are all things that push me into a direction where I am facing things that I could have never imagined that I could do and then you overcome them. That gives me a lot of drive, that gives me some strange amount of focus that I cannot imagine. I mean, that, that's, that, maybe that's what gets me going, you know. So you're the first Indian actress to be on the cover of Entrepreneur magazine. You won GQ Award Women of the Year recently. Uh, what sets you apart from the rest? I think these are things that are not for me to think about. Uh, that, that would be extremely vain and self-consuming of me to do. Okay. Uh, but I think, I think I know one thing for sure that I am in that sense quite fearless. Because you know what happens is there's purity in your first thoughts, right? The first time something you, the first time you think of something, it's very pure. It's only later on that the world sinks in, that the world starts to make you feel like no, but that. Like mm -hmm. I told you when I started to wanted to start my own production house, it was a pure thought. Yeah, I want to create good cinema. I want to create cinema that can have some like like some lasting impression in people's minds in Hindi films. And then comes the world where it starts to make you doubt things and you start thinking about but kisi or ne kara hai kya kis ne kiya hai uska kaise chala iska kaise chala. So I don't put myself in that situation only. If I find inspiration in something, if I find value in, in some idea, then I go after it. And then I also and I'm and I, I don't do it alone. I'm Kate Films is with my brother. 
um, and even even this is with with partners. I feel like then you have to find the right people who have the right mindset, like you know, understand from where you're coming, you know, and, and who understand like the simplicity of the things that you do. And I'm willing to fall on my face. I'm willing to to fail. I'm willing to make mistakes. Yeah, when I was growing up, I used to keep telling my parents. I said the biggest problem with Indian parenting is that we're constantly teaching teaching kids to not fail, to not make mistakes. And I think that's, and my parents have also done that. My parents have, because parents protect, yeah, and parents try to pro, overprotect you. And I told my parents, let me make mistakes, let me make, and I'll learn from them and I'll go ahead. I mean, you can't lead a life in which you feel like sab kuch achha hi achha hoga. You know, it's not going to be like that. But these are all calculated risks. All right, on that note, it's time for us to take a short break, but don't go anywhere as we continue to trace Anushka Sharma's journey as a model, as an actor, and as an entrepreneur. Stay tuned. CNBC TV 18 Weekender 